boys. Well, this is it. Your last shot to get in for the dual giveaway. There is a countdown timer on the site for you. And as I filmed this, there is only one day and 13 hours left, which means by the time you see it, there is going to be even less time than that. So don't wait, get in. I say this a lot, but I say it because it's true. We have had many winners enter and win by entering on the last night. Remember our high country winner, Ramon, he said he was laying in bed and he was watching the last upload like you are right now. And he said, you know what? I'll take a chance. He bought a drying towel for his car and won a high country Duramax and 50 G's. That can be you. You could be our next winner. It could be your destiny, but you won't know unless you enter right now. It's wild to think that's it. Like that one little choice is what could be the thing that changes your life forever. So don't wait, get something cool. Get in before it's over. 717supply.com, link down below and good luck. Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are having a great day. I got Danny playing in the back. Now, if you don't know this about me and Gina, we are big cruising nerds. And one thing we do, which is really lame, but we love to watch the cruise ship tours from Danny. Danny with Har Travel, and he just released Icon of the Seas, the biggest ship in the world. Well, cruise ship, I think ship period, but maybe not. Some of those shipping ships are big, but he's got his tour on there and it's insane. That ship is wild. If you don't like cruising, you won't care. But if you like cruising, Icon of the Seas is a kind of a big deal, but this is a an update video, a big update upload and uh, we're starting off with the most important one that y'all are going to be asking about. Mike, did you put the student driver sticker on the Nissan? Yes, I did. Now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about trucks here. I did a little something to my T-Rex. I have black methods on there. Yes, this is mine, not yours. Yours is right there. But I was looking at that one, your truck, so much. I liked it so much. I was looking at it often and I liked it so much that I said, you know what? I'm putting the black methods on mine too. So now, now they are really identical and the gold methods have been retired, boys. I'll show you here. I can't see them, but I think you can up there. Yes, the gold ones have been taken off and retired and uh, the black ones are on and I like it. I like the black ones. I mean, the gold was cool too. It's hard to pick, but I can, now I can swap them out like shoes for the truck. So now the trucks are really, really identical, but let's take it one step farther. I need your help. And you guys know, when I tell y'all to comment something, I actually read it and I actually do it. Like with the GTR, like with the off-road tires on the Denali, I actually care and I like that. I like when we interact because I have the vehicles and you know I do this stuff for you um, and because I love it. So we can go back and forth. I can say, hey, what do you wanna see? And then I do it. I really like that interaction on the channel. I think it's kind of unique and uh, it's fun. So when I ask you this, I need you to comment, do you want on your truck, I wanna do one more thing for the Lunar X before the giveaway is over. Uh, I want to either put the Ram bar on the back or the bed cover. Now here's the deal, you guys know, I love my Ram bars. And by the way, I have given away, this is the fourth T-Rex that I have given away. All of them besides one, besides the orange twin turbo one had the Ram bar on it and uh, all of my personal ones have had the Ram bar. So that's the deal, I love the Ram bar. But on my truck, we were doing the cross country trip from Colorado and I knew I would need more space than just the cab for our stuff. So I had them put this on at the dealership out there. It's a Mopar one. And the plan was, I like it, it's really cool. It worked out well for the trip. But the plan was that I would get home and take it off and uh, then I would put the Ram bar on. But then we got married and I knew that I would need to haul a lot of stuff down to the beach. So I said, okay, I'll keep it on for that. I kept using it and I like it and it comes in handy all the time. So I will say the trifold bed cover is really nice and you can lift it fully out of the way. You can strap it in, you know, you can get it out of the way so you can still use the bed of the truck. And I will say it's very nice. I do use it a lot, but I still prefer the look of the Ram bar. Now, if you haven't caught on yet, you can't, use the bed cover and the Ram bar. You gotta pick one or the other. Now, I did see a guy on the forums who had a rough country trifold and he was able to make it work. So he had the bed cover and the Ram bar on, but with the Mopar one, it won't work. And with every other one I've seen, it won't work. So 
That's the choice. If I had like my perfect scenario, I would have both. But for the giveaway truck, I'm going to pick one or the other. So you let me know, do you want the practical <laughs> bed cover, which is practical, you know, it comes in handy. The Ram bar doesn't do anything. Let's be honest, it doesn't do anything, but it looks cool. So do, do you want the practical bed cover or do you want the Ram bar? That's up to you. You guys comment, uh, let me know. I'll read through the comments and I'll count them up and whichever one wins, that's the one I'll get for the truck. But uh, that's a tough one. I think the Ram bar is going to win, but I don't know. That bed cover is kind of nice. Anyway, I think that's all I got for you at the shop. Danny is looking at some beverages. Yes, that's it. Don't forget to enter and let me know if you want the Ram bar or the bed cover. Oh, and then real quick, one more thing I forgot. There is going to be a break. I just wanted to let y'all know, there is going to be a break after uh, the T-Rex ends. So after the duel and then the T-Rex ends fully, uh, there is not going to be another truck added or another car added to the Ram there is going to be another break. And then I got something real cool cooking up. So get in for this one and then get ready for the next one. Actually, I lied. Uh, it's cold outside and I'm also having the shutters redone on my home during the storm two days ago, they fell off. So I didn't wanna walk around outside at home uh, because it's cold and there is construction going on. So we are back at the shop and I am about to reveal something really important for the channel, something huge, enormous. And you might not think it's a big deal, but it's a really, really big deal. And I'm not joking, it's a huge deal. Here it is. Give me a Here it is, boys, my brand spanking new aluminum car, aluminum car hauler. And it's a huge deal because, again, it might not seem like it, but when you run a car channel, it's a huge deal because you use this all the time. And I use my trailer a lot on camera that you guys see, but just know, whatever you see on camera, there is 10 times more use going on behind the scenes. I use it just about every day, you know, dropping off vehicles, um, picking up vehicles when family members need help, friends need help, and you never knew how many friends, how many great friends you had until you get a trailer. Like you end up knowing people for like 10 minutes and they're your best bud when you have a trailer. Number one, a truck, number two, a trailer. You meet a lot of really good friends that use it and borrow it because they are your good friends. But um, that is very true. But on a real note, this thing is freaking awesome. Now, I didn't get enclosed for one reason. I did want an enclosed, but I realized my off-road rigs won't fit. So I had to kind of comp compromise here and go with a much better, more upgraded trailer. And what I'm going to do is have the wall built in the front. Cole from Regal can do that. And I'm going to have a wall built that way it'll protect the vehicles from most of the damage coming from the front and the weather. Uh, yeah, it can still get rained on or snowed on, but it won't get the slush and the rocks and all that. So I'm going to have the wall built up front and that should look really good. But overall, it's a huge upgrade. Not quite enclosed, not really enclosed at all, but with the wall, that's going to help and it's got a lot of other great things. It has the built-in tie downs here, whatever you call them, the attachment points. That's really nice. It's way lighter. It's a thousand pounds lighter. It's longer and a thousand pounds lighter, which not that I tow a whole lot anyway. Most of my loads are like, you know, Lambos, Corvettes, whatever. The GTR is a little heavy, so that will help. But um, for the T-Rex, Anything is, is good. Any loss of weight is good because these trucks are not built for towing. And to lose a thousand pounds right off the bat, you know, all of a sudden a 5,000 pound load becomes four and that's huge. We got the full size spare on the side looking good. 
And another awesome thing is the fenders can be taken off. And that was a big issue on the old trailer. When I would load a low car, I couldn't open the door and the fenders were, you know, fixed. And for some, I could climb in and out of the window, but for others like the C6, I could not fit through the window either. So I had to literally open the hatch and climb in and out of the back of the car to load it and unload it. And uh, that was very embarrassing. So I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore. But yeah, this is it. My new fancy trailer, not quite enclosed, but we'll get it kind of like halfway there with that wall in the front and I am pumped. She's got the built-in ramps in the back and I think that's about everything. Um, besides being better in every way, I also like that it looks better. Not that I need to be the fanciest guy, but when I rolled up to Pocono and uh, wherever with the old trailer, it was, <laughs> it was kind of bad. It was kind of a bad look and uh, this one will be nicer. I don't need to be the fanciest guy. You know, I don't have a motorhome toy hauler and I don't need one because I'm not like a, you know, a racer that I go away for a week and I need all that, but it is kind of nice to have something that looks at least professional, right? I think I'm kind of professional now. Um, the other one, one last thing I can think of with the aluminum trailer, you don't have to worry about rust, which if you live in a hole like I do, that's an issue. My trailer was uh, rusting this one, that won't happen. The only bad thing is these are expensive. A similar steel trailer would be about four grand, and uh, this was more than twice that. This was about 10 Gs, which is uh, you know big money for a trailer, but I think it's worth it. With that being said, I think that's all I got for you. Sorry this upload was not the most action-packed one ever, but lots of good updates and a big upgrade for the channel. More action coming soon. However, I'll tell you, they are sadly calling for a big snowstorm this weekend again. Might have to be a snow upload, I don't know, but We'll see, I hate it. God, I really hate it. And every year I say I'll move and I don't because I'm dumb. Don't be like me. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give this upload a big thumbs up. Take care and have a great night.